Yes, go, okay. go, go. Okay, uh, hi everyone. I'm Ten Siang, front end developer at Shopee. For my talk today, I really want everyone to know that but is a very valid CSS value. That's it, that's the whole talk. And let's go, dinner, supper, let's go. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Uh, the title of this presentation is uh, inspired by a tweet from Chris Coyer. Um, unfortunately, I can't make a full presentation talking just about buts in CSS. So um, I'll have to make do with talking about um, CSS and SVG interactions and um, to produce effects like the farting cat below. Apart from our usual you know, image manipulation tools like uh, rotate and transform, uh, we actually do have a list of CSS properties that are and, and values that are unique to vector images and SVGs. Uh, you can actually you can read more about this. Um, you can read more about more details in the CSS documentation. For most of my examples, I'm using the, the that, that fat win thing that I drew on a on a tool vector.com. Um, we can see that lines in SVG are essentially represented by waypoints, and uh, such uh, as shown in the slides with the circles there. To get your hands on SVGs and play around, you can, of course, draw like I did on a tool online. Or with some of my examples, um, you can actually get it from just a free SVG .org, or uh, sometimes you can, you can also get it from a library. There are many uh, JS libraries that uh, allow you to draw SVG with a canvas syntax. Or you can just, um, or, or there are programs like, uh, for example, Figma and, and, and uh, yeah, basically they, they, they allow you to export images as SVGs. So uh, if we pick into the SVG <coughs> content, we see that it is mostly just a series of paths. And um, I'd like you to take note of there's this, uh, there's this thing that I added called path length equals to one. This will be used later. Um, but basically, yeah, it's just paths or sometimes some basic shapes. Being a vector-based representation, it gives us some benefits. You can have crisp and sharp images at all sizes. Uh, if we declare SVGs in our markup itself, we don't have to send another HTTP request uh, for each image. We can easily scale not just the whole thing, but even parts of the images. And basic CS, uh, SVG support is already available in all browsers, even mini browsers. So if anyone out there is still using PNG and GIFs for their icons, uh, you can just you know, switch over to SVG just based on all these benefits themselves. It's also very, very lightweight. Um, also, but we don't just have to draw the paths as lines. We can also do fun things like have the have some text follow a path, or we can make shapes from paths, or make shapes that follow a path follow another path, or you can make paths follow a path that follows a path that follows a path, and so on and so forth. But some uh, common CSS that we we use in things are like uh, stroke fill and stroke width. So these are normally used in my daily development to change color of icons. Uh, uh, sometimes I, I do an effect where I thicken the stroke width on hover to make it show as an item is highlighted. And uh, yeah, we can also make shapes with fill. So the namesake of this presentation is actually, is, is, it was so disappointing. It was just a, 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 it's just a value for line cap properties. So we can see it can be round, butt, and square. So butt and square look almost the same, except a square has a, so square has a, a you know, it has an edge that sticks a little bit out from the other lines. Another property that we can play around with are dash array and dash offset. It's a bit hard to wrap uh, our head around, you know, what are all these values. <coughs> so um, just now I, I, I pointed out the, the, the path length equals to one. It shows us uh, to you, we can actually use, if we, if, we, if we put it into the SVG line, we can use it to, uh, we can use it to use a ratio from zero to one to represent how much of that line. So uh, there are other things we can do. So all these examples so far are very boring, right? We want to have more farting cats or at least you know, more things that are a bit more interesting. What we can do, uh, we can have CSS animations to, to, sheet, to move the dash offset value. Uh, so this is actually a single line uh, spiral that I found on FreeSVG. Uh, without any prior knowledge, I just added uh, I just created this spiral effect just by having the stroke offset moving, uh, moving at different intervals. Alternatively, you can have like a neon sign kind of effect. All I did here was to change the color of the line and then thicken the line at certain timings. So, so yeah, it gives a glowing neon sign effect. We can also animate uh, something like color fills. So 
right here. Yeah, so we can animate color fields over here. With CSS animations, you only need to actually uh, to actually write out which color stops you want, um, like keyframes as you would in most animations, and fading from color to color is automatically handled for us. So a very common use of SVG also is to create, a, or SVG animation is to create this sketching effect. Um, here I added the same path length equals to one for every for every path and adjusted the dash offset from zero to one and going back and forth. So uh, I could uh, put in more effort to stagger the line so that it actually looks like it's being drawn, but I'm very, very lazy. So this is how I did it. Uh, I also was so lazy that I didn't want to put the path length equals to one value into the 10 or so lines that make up these images. So I wrote this uh, slightly JS, I wrote this JS uh, loop to just set the attribute for all of them. And the nice thing is that yeah, we don't have to use this CSS um, rules alone. We can always you know, use JS to, to help us out with our tasks. Another way is we can actually just use the markup itself. So uh, the, the, the ball is a just, it's just a, a diff, and we, the, the, the line itself is a path that is independent of the ball. I just uh, copied and pasted the, the path into this offset path value in the, in, in the ball, and then do the animations. So uh, there are a lot of libraries out there that use the same few concepts under the hood to achieve animations and interactions with SVGs. A general idea for these things uh, that are easy to, a general idea for SVGs that we can play with, uh, usually simple line art drawings without fields, those are very easy to manipulate and have fun. Um, so that's all for my talks. You can assess this talk on, I think, yeah, the first link, my blog. Uh, you can assess the slide at uh, slides.com. You can see my code pen for all these examples. And uh, add me at Twitter if you find this interesting. <laughs> Thanks. OK, everybody virtually clap for, for uh, you all here can clap louder lah, the recording, eh, bros? Uh, thanks. Anyway, uh, sir, stop sharing your screen. I share my screen. Okay. Uh, uh, someone got announcement. Did you send me? You never send me?